Normally the titles of the episodes can give me some sort of hint to what's going on, but this one's called Town Townsperson B. Like, what on earth could that mean? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu Season 2. Episode 3 is the one we're on. The last episode, we got introduced to the possible replacement for when she graduates for Kyoko. Hot Yachi, who uh, I wasn't sure if was lesbian or straight. I'm just going to leave that at that and not touch that anymore. But the real important thing is that our, our athletes, our students are getting a lot more teaching and a lot more studies going. So they're not going to fail. We're going to go. Hopefully we should all be good there. And uh, we should just continue with the training, which I am very excited for. So I say let's cut the BS. Let's hop right on into this. Remember, guys, if you guys don't want to wait to the next upload and you guys also want full length, you guys want to support me at the same time. You can also you can get all those perks over at Patreon. Links are down below. As always, if you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really helps push me out there in the algorithm helps other people see my faces, stuff like that. It just really helps me out. I appreciate you guys. And a lot of you guys I've been noticing in the comments have been saying, I'm just commenting something for the algorithm. And like, just, you can even say that. I appreciate that. It really does help me out because YouTube itself thinks, hey, if a lot of people are watching this, a lot of people are liking it, like the average like or comment to view ratio is above average compared to any other videos in my sector. They're like, hey, we're gonna assume people like this. We'll push it out there more. We'll test the water. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Let's hop into this Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 3. Dang. Uh, yeah, because we're not like Shiratorizawa where they have a specific volleyball bus, you know? That's such a good reason for them to fucking say that. That's hilarious. They are so stupid. Well, it's time for you to be Townsperson B. That's the title. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So she appreciates the hard work at, you know, just being put in the spotlight. Feeling appreciated is, is so nice to her, you know. I love these guys also very much. From uh, we made it through the first round. Oh, they made it through. Nekoma, nice. Kenma giving the update text. I like it. Episode three, Townsperson B. It's gonna be more about Yachi. Busy business mom. Looks like she makes a good amount of money though. Yachi, very responsible, studious person. I wouldn't say it's the rudest thing you could do, but I can understand why it would make someone upset. But I also get where her mom's coming from. Like, don't do something if you're not passionate about it. But I also get where Yashi's Yachi, coming from. She hasn't had anything to be passionate about, you know? Yeah, she's a little cold. That's true. I get both perspectives right there. You know, good intentions from the mom, just not the best way it was said. Whoa. Trying to ease her nervousness. I don't need to see Kyoko changing. I feel, I feel dirty. That is true. There are... I mean, look at Kenma, right? He started just to be with his friends. That's a good little talk. I like that. I love these guys, man. She's, she wants to know what it's like to be passionate. She doesn't fully understand yet. Yeah, 
That's such a Kageyama answer, but that's so hilarious. Fundamentally to them, yeah. Nata bow is lower than everyone. Might just because he's shorter than everyone. <laughs> that's hilarious. Words getting around. Hell yeah. Oh, I love it. Going through an evolution. So, so one might say. Don't lose that anger, funnel it in the motivation. Look at that squad. They can go from being so joking and so funny to being so serious and badass looking. I'm just, I'm with Yachi in the same feeling, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, Yachi. It's her first time scoring. I can't blame her. Yeah, one blocker, one Tsukushima. Oh. Good on both sides, you know? Good reflexes on the offense and defense. They lose sight of the small crow. Oh my lord, man. I love this fucking show. They animate that so dope. Animation's always on crisp. Always, that's my boy. See, like this is how you do a little training. Like we had a practice match, you know, two sets, we won 2-0, and it was over like that, you know? Yet it was awesome. <laughs> I love how they relate to each other. It's... Wow, I was just gonna say, I love that nickname for her. And he, that sounds so like Hinata. You would play town per, townsperson B and try to stand out more. That, I told you, they relate to each other so much. That is so awesome. I love that. It's dope. What is she doing? Is she drawn? What is she draw? Oh, what is she gonna do? She's gonna do something that's gonna be awesome. I know she is. Yeah. That simple, but if only it was. Oh my god, he is. This is so Hinata, I'm saying. <laughs> I get where. I get where he's coming from. Good. I like the confidence being built already. Just starting to get stronger, huh? Just screaming in like this where she could barely talk in front of people in her own club, you know? Hell yeah. I love the. I was literally wondering what Townsperson B meant so much, and I'm so glad with what it meant, you know? Oh, <laughs> Oh. She's happy, because you genuinely wanted Yachi to just be stronger, you know? She did overhear that, that's true, and I knew she was gonna help out. Yeah, you gotta make it stand out. Mom's helping out. She's making posters or something. Advertisements for something. Come on. See, you gotta think of this like a business. Look at mom being smart. I, I appreciate Mama Duke. So, and I appreciate this house. Look at this minimalistic house with the bunny slippers over there. Got some dope style with that clock. It's very modern looking. A couple of plants. A little floating shelves action. 
Is this the same? Oh, he's going to be like the little giant. He's going to be the face of the club. Oh, it's probably going to look so dope. Look at that. The crow heads back in the national skies. The little giant. That's his nickname, too. Ah, oh, the little giant returns. Oh, I'm getting teary eyed just looking at it. Oh, that's so fucking sick. I don't know if that's the same store, but it, it, it might be because it flashed back to that. Because it was a TV store, too. That's, that's fucking awesome. Alright. That's gotta feel so good, man. Ugh. I'm crying over a fucking poster. Dope, dope. Well needed. Welcome in, Yachi. I need one of those too, man. Uh-oh. Here we go, guys. Let's see how we did. <laughs> Especially the four idiots. Oh, that's a good way to end it. That was a good episode. All right, I like that. All right, well, I did not write much down for that episode. All I wrote down was the school we went against, which I don't think this is going to be a reoccurring school. Could totally be. Just we didn't have any named characters or anything like that, but it's Uganishi. Um, I love how they kind of showed us the typical mindset of a team that would be going against Karasuno right now. Aren't these the flightless birds? Aren't these the, the once fallen giants, you know? And then the coach who uh, has been a little bit of the recent news, you know, is like, I don't know about that anymore. You know, they got these two all-stars on their team mixed with the with the uh, the first years of some fresh you know some fresh blood also mixed with that working cohesively now like they're in a new spot entirely you know and then yachi i really like the relationship between yachi and yachi's mom because like there's so many shows and in real life too obviously i haven't had this personally there are lots of things in tv shows and anime that i can personally relate with um Yashi's relationship with her mom is something I can't personally relate with because my parents have never been like insanely busy parents when it comes to like business stuff like that career career minded career focused people but a lot of shows a lot of portrayals of that relationship make that relationship seem a lot worse than this one like only only one that's coming off top of my head right now is Toradora with Taiga and you know like her dad doesn't give a shit about her like it's like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these, a lot of these portrayals of these business-minded relationships between parent and child is more like they have these child children for like accessories, you know, stuff like they don't really, really, you know, they. But it seems like obviously she is going to work maybe a little bit, a little bit more than she should, but she still genuinely cares. She is putting an interest in the things that she knows about. She's not the type of, type of mom that when you come home from school, she's gonna ask you how your day went all day, every day. She's not gonna oh, what, did you do anything new? Did you join any club, stuff like that? She's gonna be the type of mom to find out about that act. You know, you don't want, you know, you don't really wanna tell her. So, you know, she kinda, kinda like, you know, kinda like roommates in a certain sense, but she's still your mom and like, she still helps out very much. And she was crying when she likes, like she, she relates to herself, you know, she, it's like, I get it, I get it, and I just think the relationship is very good, and Yachi's mom is super hot, I just like that, I don't know, but overall, fantastic episode, excited, I love the townsperson B, all that joint, I'm really excited to get into this next episode, I think I'm about to get into it right now, appreciate you Dapper Squad, remember, if you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, you also want full length, anything like that, check out that Patreon down below, if you guys don't want to do Patreon, but you still want to support me, if you guys could leave a like and a nice comment, I appreciate you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all.